Mm. My issue with MGTOW is more often than not, these guys have not maxed out life. Then they try to speak about things in which they've never done. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they're trying to communicate and they end up talking to guys like this who are actually looking for help and solutions and they demonize men like us for teaching them. How does that tie into cold approach versus choosing signals, or does it apply at all? Well, before I was an image consultant, I was an actual corporate business to business sales rep. So while everyone else was out, you know, back in the day when you saw local long distance internet, I was selling dark fiber internet, I mean, fiber access worldwide. <laughs> I'm with it. Man. While people were making people, your quota at, at my company was $10,000 a month. That's one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, okay. I closed the seventeen million dollar deal. Woo! You only get the elephants, the big game, by approaching it. Yeah. See, it's all cold calling is cold approaching. Warm leads, uh, that indicators of interest, those things work. But the guys who really take it to the next level have both in their bag, and being mm -hmm. able to decide what you go after is the ultimate, as far as I'm concerned. See, I don't look at approaching a woman as a zero-sum game. I look at it as I am just increasing my network opportunities. There you Wherever, go. Yep. If, she, if she turns me down, cool. If, if it goes somewhere else, cool. But I've expanded my network opportunities because I've actually interacted with another person. See, right. we got to take this away from, like, you, you're putting yourself in a beta position if you approach. I'm like, right. how do high-level salespeople get it done? There you go. How do deals get done? See, that's why I tend to kind of sit back in a cut because guys tend to tell them themselves when they start talking too much about this cold approaching. Cause I'm like, well, what do you do for a living? Business gets done when someone says no, and you have to overcome objections yes. and get the sign on the line, which is dotted. He said a, a woman who cold approaches is a drunk woman or a fat woman. <laughs> and true. Yeah, as I said, you know, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get a lot of women that's just gonna run up on you that's gonna be Holly Berry. It's gonna be something right. kind of wrong with that bitch or something. You right. know what I'm saying? This guy says the black pill is the reason why cold approach is not it. She chooses if she wants to sleep with you once she sees your face. That's look, man. <laughs> okay, pick, another, pick any other excuse that will work. There you go. There you go. Um, basically, let's let's put it, let's let's take it out of uh romance. I can't cold call new businesses because they've already decided who they're going to do business there with. There you go. That's it. See, it it fails the logic test anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Cold calling works. If you're a rookie salesperson, it's about the activity. You get better at cold calling. You get better at your, your scar tissue for rejection. You get better at presentation. What you really have is a lot of guys who are just terrified uh, rejection. You take this stuff <laughs> personally. That's why you need to go hire one of these wonderful coaches and get yourself some skills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So you got to come up, let her know like, hey, you're not that attractive. What's up? My name is such and such. What do you do for a living? Then you got to make her qualify to you. You know what I'm saying? There you go. That's a big thing a lot of guys don't do. You got to make the girls qualify to you like, okay, so explain to me. What do you do for fun? What do you do, what do, you do when you're in your free time? And then it's funny because when you say that shit to girls, they're like, Oh, uh, I, uh, I I go to the beach. And then you make fun of her and be like, okay, the go. beach is not a hobby. And then boom, then the interaction continues. And then you, I hate to say it, but like when nines and tens, you got to beat them down a little bit. You know, you got to you gotta yeah, let them, uh, bring them back to reality. Right. That is how it is with hot girls, man. You got to bring them down to reality. Sarcasm and, approach. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Fact. Yeah. So in old school, they call that negative. Fact. So when <laughs> night game, you got to kind of have to be an oh, And here's the other thing when night game, guys. Because this is my specialty. When I came, you got to be able to discern time wasters from girls that are DTF. That was for proper say. I'm noticing so many of these guys who are college educated, high five figure, low six figures, mm. late 30, late 20s, 30s, 40s, in some case, 50 year old virgins. Stop it, Kevin. I have five videos. Jesus. So anybody who wants to say that I'm just profiting, I'm giving you a timeline of my credibility. Mm. Started back before 2018 and for almost a calendar year. And then in, from January 31st through all of February, I talked about this topic. Single mothers, do they raise powerful men? 
how to make friends with incels next door, mask off incels. Uh, because I started to notice that there's a definite distinction between a true incel and a, and a MGTOW. Incels want women. Mm. They want relationships. They just do not have or have not even, I'm, I'm going to take off my share screen, have no, not good. developed the social skills to get it done mm -hmm. for various reasons. Now, MGTOW, on the other hand, I agree with some of the things Mr. Lacario was saying. Mm -hmm. My issue with MGTOW is more often than not, these guys have not maxed out life. Then they try to speak about things in which they've never done. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they're trying to communicate and they end up talking to guys like this who are actually looking for help and solutions and they demonize men like us for teaching them. Right. Look, a lot of these guys, are, a lot of these MGTOW guys are intelligent. They're okay. not dumb guys. Right. All right. So we can go on and talk about the logic. They, they, don't, they know the logic. They know the rules. Yes. They don't want to do the work. They know you can have one struggle as a man. That's it. There's a one struggle limit. If you're short, you better be, you better, you better get have some money, get some game, some other stuff. You can't be short and ugly unless you got a lot more money. I mean, you can pick a struggle. You can have one struggle. The more struggles you have, the more you're gonna have to balance it out. They know how the math works, guys. The problem is they don't want the math, period. They just want, I am a man, I should be able to get the highest value woman, most beautiful women without doing any work. But then they turn around and use the same arguments against women and talk about their hypergamy. How does that Facts. make Facts. Wow. They know the rules. <laughs> they know the rules. They just don't want to compete. Uh, Kevin, uh, what are your thoughts on chivalry and red pill? Is that an oxymoron? Is that a misnomer? What are your thoughts on that? <sighs> okay. Chivalry... Uh, now see, I roll. I roll differently. I have my. I have a code of the modern gentleman. Okay. But I do. But just. But like anything, I'm doing it for me. See, if I open the door for a woman, I don't. First off, I don't just open the door for any woman. If you're with me, you've passed my test. Okay. But I'm also understanding how important my personal image and my personal brand is. And to be a cut above, I've carried myself in a certain way. See, it's not as though they still have to earn the behaviors. But you, but if you're in my presence, you get treated like the women. You get all the benefits of a girlfriend, except the girlfriend title. If I'm running a rotation and if we're in a monogamous relationship, you get that. You get that title, but you have to earn it. Now, see where I think guys run the run the uh, run a, a problem with themselves is they start doing this for women who've not earned anything. And they treat and they treat beautiful women different than they treat uh, unattractive women. Um, I treat all women the same. OK, so uh, I think a man has to have a code, a standard for yourself and be consistent with that code. And then mm. I don't really see any problem with how you choose to interact with the world. It's on your terms.